Level four. I have other matters to attend to. <clears throat> of course. Bye bye, Snoo. Snoo. Achievement unlocked. Once upon a time. Beauty and Beast apartment. The woodland building. New. What do you want? Wait, whoa, well, you been snappy. You're just going around knocking on doors? You called, right? Or, uh, was it beauty? Why would I call you? What the fuck, man? Listen, I've had a shitty night. Do you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I... So have you, Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. Maybe it's because you're getting fucking snappy at me. night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? If you don't want to talk, can you just get beauty for me? I don't know. Is it safe to turn my back? It's your pal, Bigby. Hi, Bigby. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. Why are you being such a douche beast? My god. I mean, I understand that. Mm. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Oh, well, this is actually quite nice. You're going to make a problem out of this. What's he doing here? We don't need to bring him into this. Beast. I know what the electric bill is for that thing. Not after the way he went behind my back. And then you run and call him again? Well, I trust of him. Of course you do. He was keeping secrets for you. It was one little thing. Do you want to keep fighting about that? Or do you want to try to sort this out? Mm. All I'm saying is we can handle Talk this about on living our own. in the past. We bring him here. We're out of money. And answers. That's why I called. Oh, none. This later. Oh Jesus, don't fucking do this, my god. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Feast! No, really, I wanna know. What are you trying to say, huh? You've lived here a long time, and you've never called me over. So what's this about? Is this something about that loan you took out? From the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do, We so... should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate things. I called him Can't get any more complicated, mate. can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. I'd like to help you, but I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the Crooked Man? What if we talk and you don't get him? And all this comes back on us? We well, then what do you freaking do? We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man. And I don't know if it's worth it. I can protect you, but only if you tell me what I need to know. And that means details. No more stonewalling. We aren't. And just tell me what's going on here. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle. Understandable, okay? yeah. We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn. And we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... Ooh. Shall I get that for you? Might be the crooked man. It's the crooked man. Something fabulous. Uh, let me just uh a day at the beach? Skiing the slopes? Hey. <laughs> and not we done can't come to the fall right should... now, so leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as <laughs> <laughs> humanly possible. Beep That fucking message. I'm gonna come down. 
down there and bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call again and hear that fucking message one more time. I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you'd have paid by now. So consider yourselves out of warnings. It's time to start thinking about how else you can settle this. The crooked man's gonna get his ah, one way this. or another. Shit. All I care about is mm. how can I find the crooked man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. Jersey. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh yeah, that slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the Crooked Man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. Yeah. I saw the Woodsman's Axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times too. There's a lot of that going around. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. Hmm. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. Hmm. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I need it work. Well, what are you delivering? What's going on there? How does this fit into the Crooked Man's operation? I couldn't tell you, but I do know this. It's the only meat market in town that doesn't carry filet. I'm not sure how much actual butchery goes on there. How did you get involved with this? Johan the Butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. It's the only thing I've been able to pick up, and it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work, especially not where she was. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She uh, gets under my skin, you know? I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. You're damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. All right. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. I think some we other people have it worse. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Bigby. I don't need to understand. It's not my fucking job to understand. My job is to keep Fable Town safe. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. All right. Here we go. Which way? The Lucky Pawn? Or the butcher's shop. Hmm. I think. The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. And that's where I'm going. I'm going to the Lucky Pawn. There's too much going on there to ignore. 
I'll have a word or two with Jersey. You know, Bigby, once you show your face there, word is going to get out. Mm -hmm. There may be nothing left to see if you go to the butcher shop after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Wait. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? If there is no Crooked Man... What do you mean? Well, then maybe you help? can make this all just... Go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? You're asking me to kill him, aren't you? Is that what you think I do? Uh, no, of course not. I don't know how you'd get that idea. We just, we know that the Crooked Man is dangerous to all of Fable Town. I'm gonna do my job. Lucky for you, that might just solve your problems anyway. Oh. Thank you, Bigby. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. <laughs>